Hey everybody, Phil Crew here, Comedy Cigars and Music, and today's cigar for review is the American Viking Cigar Company's Liga Zebra. Off the foot and wrapper, I'm getting some barnyard, hay, some very seat sweeter, and some nuttiness. And this cigar does have a closed foot. Okay, right at the start of the cigar here, really through the whole thing, flavor-wise, retrohale, finish, getting a nice nuttiness and butter. On the finish there, just, just a little hint of some roasted coffee starting, some spice coming in on the finish there. And that's a, that's a chili pepper spice all the way in the back. And that kind of picks up as the finish goes on. It's not right there. As soon as the finish starts, it kind of builds. It's actually still building. All right, good deal. I'm gonna keep smoking this down and I will see you guys in a second. All right, rounding out the first third here. <clears throat> Flavor-wise, that butter all the way through, that nice butter flavor, that nuttiness stayed there as well. And that nuttiness went from just a, I would say kind of a nice plain nuttiness to then it kind of developed a sweetness and then it developed this creaminess with it. So it ended up being a nice, sweet, creamy nuttiness by the end. Really good. Retrohale leather, primarily, with a little bit of nuttiness from time to time. <clears throat> on the finish, leather, some nuttiness, and on the leather, I'm kind of getting some glimpses of roasted coffee. So I'm kind of thinking that might be where it transitions here going in the second third. But really leather and nuttiness, and also a little bit of that sweetness from the nuttiness coming in from time to time on the finish. A little bit about this cigar. So this is a barber pole <coughs> with Ecuadorian Connecticut shade and Nicaraguan uh, wrapper, uh, Nicaraguan Maduro wrapper, sorry. On the binder, Honduran binder, and the fillers are from Honduras and the Dominican Republic. So it's been pretty good so far. I have had two burn touch-ups in the first third. There's just this one section of the cigar that keeps getting wavy and uh, hasn't been able to correct itself. So. Two minor burn touch-ups, and that's been about it. So I'm gonna smoke this down through the second third, and I will see you guys in a second. All right, so second third. Flavor-wise, nuttiness and a sweet nuttiness, and the way that I can describe the sweetness in that, and after taking several draws off of it, that glaze on donuts you get, that's the sweetness. So sweet nuttiness, a little bit of black pepper spice and oakiness came into the party every so often, but just off and on, not, not through the whole thing. So the nuttiness is definitely the primary flavor in the second third here. As far as the retrohale goes, some roasted coffee. That finish, like I thought might do, went from that leather to roasted coffee. And that was a very deep roasted coffee, really good. And the longer I just kind of sat here relaxing, that roasted coffee just intensified. Really good there and just a subtle nuttiness on the finish every so often, but not throughout the whole second third here, just every so often. So that roasted coffee was really the solid finish on this second third here. I did have one more burn touch up in the second third. Um, overall, the cigar has been performing pretty well. I'm gonna get into the final third here and I will see you guys in a second. Okay, in and out the cigar here. Flavor-wise, getting some sweetness, and that sweetness kind of transitioned over into a fruitiness every so often. But really, flavor-wise, through the whole final third here was that roasted coffee. The roasted coffee kind of took over through the whole thing, through the flavors, through the retrohale a little bit, and on the retrohale, getting a little bit of earthiness. Right here at the end, I've gotten some charred meat on that retrohale. The finish, that nice roasted coffee still, and just a little bit of charred meat here at the end on the finish as well. Smoke time for this cigar is going to come out to an hour and 45 minutes. As always guys, thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed this review, have enjoyed other reviews or other videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure to leave all your questions and comments below. I'll get to them as they come along. Until next time guys, be cool to each other, and I will see you soon. Time.